Hi guys, welcome to AKA Our 80s Life where we're all about the 80s. If you love the 80s too, then you're in the right place. So be sure and subscribe to our channel. Back in the 80s, I was obsessed with Cabbage Patch Kids. We've actually made a separate video where I showed my childhood collection of Cabbage Patch Kids. I will link that video below. Y'all, I hit the jackpot at an estate sale yesterday and I ended up scoring five brand new, still in the box, Cabbage Patch Kids from the 1980s. So these are 80s era kids. They've belonged to a collector. They were never opened. And today we're gonna open them. First we have this guy. His name is Rory Vern and he is actually a preemie. Now I remember when these preemies came out and I remember wanting one really bad. And I got this little girl for Christmas in, I believe it was 1984. I'm gonna show you a picture from that Christmas. You can see the look of excitement in my eyes as I opened this little girl, Matrika Maddie. Isn't she cute? She's a baldy. <laughs> so yesterday I got this guy and isn't he adorable? I love him. So let's take Rory out so we can get a closer look. Now the lady who I got these from in each of the doll boxes, she had placed a card inside a bag with these cards. It tells when she bought the doll and sometimes it tells where she bought it and also the details like um, the name, boy or girl, what clothes it was wearing and all of that. So that's pretty cool. Here he is and isn't he a cutie? I love his uh, medium kind of darkish skin tone and you can see here he does have a little tuft of blonde hair very cute he has on the cutest little PJs with a little bunny on there this is his original clothing and there are his shoes you can just tell that he was taken really good care of he's in perfect perfect condition so I won't remove him from this, but I wanted you to see it without the glare of the box to see his precious little face. Okay, my next three kids are all from 1985. They have the 1985 banner here, so it's real easy to date these. And I especially love this one because she really reminds me of my very first Cabbage Patch Kid. Here's my first Cabbage Patch Kid. This is Betta. And this one is Pam, Pam Iris. They have a similar look, although she has a passy face, but she just reminded me of her, and I, I love Betta so much, because um, obviously your first one is your most special. Um, so this is Pam Iris. She has the cutest little workout wear on, and a passy face, and blue eyes, and she's just adorable. So let's take a closer look at Pam. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I totally just took a whiff of her hair to see if she still has that uh, baby powder smell. She does not. <laughs> she doesn't smell that fresh. She just smells like a doll that's been in someone's attic or basement or house somewhere for many years. <laughs> Here is Pam Iris. She's super cute. I love her pink little sneakers. She has a pacifier. I had a few of these little passy face babies. Let's take it out so we can see her. <laughs> Toy only, not for infant use. Don't put, don't give this to your real baby. I'm sorry, Pam, you're real too. Okay, so there's the, their little, their little mouths have a whole, those little passy face babies are very cute even when they don't have their passies in, but we'll put it back in. Okay, so this is Pam Iris. Welcome to the fam, Pam. <laughs> Next we have this little boy. His name is Paul Charlie. And remember I told you that the lady I bought these from um, had put those cards inside? Well, this one I thought was really fun. It says it was a birthday gift from her mom and sister. And she even put her birthday card in there. So inside there's an, 
old 80s birthday card uh, for my sister on her birthday from Johnny, Sister Johnny. And by the way, the lady's name was Melba. So these are, this is a nice collection. Melba, if you're watching, <laughs> thank you for taking such good care of your kids. All right, so we have Paul Charlie. Let's take him out of the box so we can get a closer look. And here he is. Paul is wearing an adorable little, like a corduroy <laughs> little romper. So cute. And they all have these little tags, by the way, still on their wrists. I mean, everything is just in mint condition. So that is amazing. And here is little Paul. Let's see if his hair still smells. Nope. <laughs> Darn it. Hey, if any of you collectors can tell me how to get that baby fresh smell back in the doll's hair, let me know. I want to do that, but I don't want to harm my dolls. So if you have any tips, please let me know. I would be most appreciative. Now, I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but y'all, of the ones I bought, this one's my favorite. Don't tell the other kids. Her name is Beatrice McKenzie. Beatrice, like Beatrice, but it's Beatrice. I don't know. Weird name. But look how cute she is. Let's take her out of the box. So they're all just adorable, but she is extra cute with her little dimples and look at her rosy cheeks. My favorite feature though, she has one little baby tooth. I only have one other kid that has the tooth. Her name's Diana and she's a blonde haired girl, but this one has a brown haired braids and she's just as cute as she could be. But look at that tooth. Isn't she the cutest little thing? I love her. And I also love her totally 80s style dress with the little heart, little satin heart. And she's got pink tights. Just the cutest. I saved this one for last because y'all, she is actually a rare Cabbage Patch Kid. Now she may look like an ordinary Cabbage Patch Kid, but I noticed something interesting on the side. Look at these boxes. The other ones are all made by Coleco. And I think that my kids were all Coleco kids too. But this one doesn't say Coleco. It says Triang Pedigree. See there? Now when I saw this, I thought, hmm, that's interesting. Before I bought these kids, I contacted my friend over at D's Cabbies. And be sure and check out her channel if you haven't yet. If you like Cabbage Patch Kids, go check out D's Cabbies and Vintage Toys. I will link her channel below. So I contacted her and I was like, hey, I need your help. I'm at this estate sale and I took a bunch of pictures and said, you know, are these, is this a good price? Are any of these rare? And she said, get that one for sure. Get whichever ones you like, but be sure and get this one because it is rare. They were made in South Africa and they didn't make very many of these. And it's really unusual to get one in good condition because apparently the paint on their eyes, uh, a lot of them were, got smeared and or they got sticky they did the paint didn't adhere well but this one is even more rare because it's still in its original box and it's never been opened so i'm not going to open it today but i want to show her to you because she really is a cutie now her name is kind of odd her name is hortense hortense erica i've never heard that name hortense before um so i don't know if that's like a south african thing or if i just never heard it but that is her name and she has some interesting things besides the name on the side of the box. It also has uh, another language on this side. On the other side, it says my clothes, except for my nappy, can be washed. And so I guess in South Africa, they call their diapers nappies. So the wording on the box is a little bit different. The back is the legend of the Cabbage Patch is the same, but it's in two different languages. So she's really cool. I love her hair, that beautiful color, 
and she's just in excellent condition. Green eyes and such a cute little dress. So you might be wondering what I'm gonna do with these. To be honest, I'm probably gonna sell, for sure gonna sell this one because it's rare. I'm not what you would consider a Cabbage Patch Kid collector per se. I just really think they're cute and I love them for the nostalgia. But really, I bought them because they were just a great deal and I wanted to share them with you guys. Sometime soon, I am planning to open a store to sell some of the vintage goodies that I find at estate sales. Some of you guys have asked about buying some things and so stay tuned for that. I haven't determined which platform I will use, but I am going to open a store. It'll probably be after the holidays. So stay tuned to learn more about that and I may put these cabbies on sale there or I may put them on eBay. So I will let you know if any of you guys are interested in that. On the back of the boxes they all say, won't you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a little heart with love? I mean, who couldn't love these guys? They are just so darn cute. <laughs>